to today's match between Dartmouth High School and Brockton High School. And now for Dartmouth High School's starting lineups. Number 18, forward, Captain Aaron Good. Number 11, defenseman, Captain Sabrina Pires. Number 19, midfielder, Captain Catherine Sagan. At goal, number one, Randy Medeiros. Defenseman, number six, Ellie Cook. Defenseman, number 10, Savannah Freitas. Midfielder, number seven, Anika Furtado. Midfielder, number 22, Paige Jacobson. Midfielder, number eight, Kelly Medeiros. Forward, number three, Kylie Wheaton. And number five, Hannah Wielden. Head coach of Brockton, uh, excuse me, of uh, Dartmouth High School, Scott Pudria. Now for your starting lineup for Brockton High School. Number 10, senior midfielder, Captain Mia Otero. Number 11, senior defenseman, Jayla Kern Stewart. Number 24, senior midfielder, Captain Alicia Tockman. At goal, junior, Ailish Olmsted. Number one, junior midfielder, Lena Marin. Number six, junior defenseman, Jada Fernandez. Number eight, senior midfielder, Madison Moore. Number nine, sophomore forward, Jara Rodriguez. Number 14, senior defenseman, Deanna Desserville. Number 16, sophomore midfielder, Charlotte Lennon. And number 17, junior defenseman, Deline Souza. Head coach of Brockton High School, Tim Kaprinsky. Good, a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the, the second game of the Brockton High girls varsity soccer season, featuring, featuring Brockton High and the Dartmouth Indians. Dartmouth comes into this game 0-0, the first game of the season, and Brockton, Brockton is actually 0-2. In a, in, a, in a big deficit, but they're looking to rebound here at home. Some of the problems for Brockton High for their last home game was against Oliver Ames was just lack of offensive pressure. I think, I think that's just something they really got to work on. And, um, and, and the, the, forward, the forwards, made, they, just need, they just need more of their offensive pressure to, to capitalize on this one. And Dartmouth... And Dartmouth comes into this game 0-0, oh and, oh and let's see, let's see what they got. Very interested. In, uh, speaking of offensive pressure for Brockton High, let's see what Mia Otero could bring to the table today. The captain forward and senior. And the kickoff is good. That one is quickly batted out by Lena Marion. This is Savannah Freitas on the throw in. Yeah, Brockton High is coming back from a big, a big loss against Bridgewater Rainham. Yeah. Mia Otero with the throwing.
Ooh. The Dark Myth player tripped up by Daylene Souza. There's Dartmouth and it's in play. Nicely, nicely kicked out by Deanna Desereville. Great defensive play there. That brings up a corner for Dartmouth. And ooh, wow! What a strike! It hits the Brockton goalposts. And that one is going out of play. Goal kick for Eilish Olmsted. Bailing Souza. Mia Otero. Quickly taken away by Dartmouth, and here is Dartmouth on another offensive run, and that is that's going to be called offsides. The Brockton Lady Boxers have yet to score a goal this season, early in the season. And offsides. Here's Dartmouth with a nice ball. Offsides again. Jada Fernandez on the free kick. It's a nice one to midfield. That one will go out of play. Mia Otero dribbling the ball. Nice pass. Otero in the open field. 
She has a nice pass to the left side to Lennon Marion. Here's Lennon Marion. Could she take it? Passes it. Uh, quickly stolen by Dartmouth. Here's Dartmouth on another attack. That'll be an easy hold for Ailish Olmstead. She's been a little busy early this evening. It's a pretty chilly afternoon here in Marciano Stadium. 60 degrees and cloudy. Rocky Marciano Stadium in Brockton, Massachusetts, the city of champions. And Ailish Olmstead will take care of that. Ooh. There's Dartmouth on the other end. She could not get to it, and that'll be a goal kick. Dartmouth has looked impressive so far early, early in this one, with 31 minutes remaining in the first half. Keeping the ball on the Brockton side of the field. Nice move by the Brockton ball player. That was actually Jayla Corinne Stewart. And this one got away from Dartmouth. Could. And Madison Moore challenges it. Could she? She scores. Brockton goals scored in the 30th minute of the first half by number eight, Madison Moore. And here's Dartmouth on quickly. Oh, Dartmouth answers quickly right back. Brockton gave a blow and Dartmouth came back with a quicker blow, answering quickly. Dartmouth goal scored in the 30th minute by number seven, Anika Furtado. 
as Olmstead takes care of that, and Nika Furtado scores the goal of the fir- first goal of the Diamond season. Both of these teams get their first goals of the season. And then there's a 1 1 tie with 29 minutes remaining. Here's Dartmouth with another attacking possession. And that foul is actually outside the box. So we have a so we should have a free kick coming. And hits the upright, and that'll that'll go out of play. The Brock, the Brockton Lady Boxer defense uh, needs a lot of needs a lot of upgrading and a lot of a lot of fine tuning as they allowed eleven goals early three games in a season. In one of those games, they lost seven to nothing. Hello everybody, I'm here. I'm I'm doing this game solo, Christopher Bazil. Here's Dartmouth on another that one's taken away by Brockton. And here is Brockton. Otero in the midfield. A nice pass to Madison Moore. Moore will take care of it. And that one's out of play. Should be a corner kick. Jared Rodriguez tried to get to it, but here comes a corner up coming up for Brockton. Alicia Talkman on the corner. The senior, the senior, multi-purpose player. Let's see if she, she get a good one. A bit too low, a bit too low and far. And let's see, Brockton. That one's stolen by Dartmouth, and here's here's Dartmouth on the other side. Nice play. Nice defensive stop. That was Jada Fernandez. Ooh. Yeah, that goes out of play. Should go. It'll be a throw in for Brockton the other way. We have a 1 1 tie coming in on 26 minutes to play. Otero in the in the defensive side of the field. Back to Otero. Madison Moore, nice tackle and steal. And she rec- and turns the possession out to Brockton. That'll go Brockton's way. <laughs> Dartman substitution, number four, Kylie DeCosta. Number 12, Logan Piva. And here's Dartmouth. And Ailes Olmstead will take care of that.
There's Otero. A lot of green light ahead of her. And that pass is intercepted by Dartmouth. And stopped, and Rodriguez stops it. Madison Moore. Shot on goal, no good. Yeah, Brogdon has looked a lot better in this one. Brogdon. Dartmouth substitution number 17, Jenna Kadu. And here's Dartmouth in the open clear. And she strikes. No good. That actually, this will actually be a corner coming up for Dartmouth, as I believe it hit Alicia's Olmstead's hand. Because Dartmouth on the corner kick. Excuse me, the ball was deflected off of G Fernandez, actually. And on a miss. A missed shot for Dartmouth. Brockton substitution number three, Anaya Barrows. Goal kick coming up for Brockton. Yeah, Brockton's looked pretty good in this one. Just got to keep the offensive pressure going and um, much, much more heavier on Dartmouth. And as that goal kick is quickly intercepted by Dartmouth, and here's Madison Moore. Lena Marion and that's last touch by Dartmouth. All sides. Yeah, Brockton has looked a lot better than this one than their last home game against Oliver Ames where they lost 3-0. Where Oliver Ames dominating the possession and Dartmouth is dominating the possession today, but Brockton, Brockton's keeping up with them. Yeah, Otero, a nice, nice set of dribbling moves by her. Throw in for Dartmouth. Dartmouth substitution, number 16, Gabriela Santos. Forward Gabriela Santos checks in, number 
Because Dartmouth nicely, nicely bothered by Jayla Curran Stewart. Nice defensive play by her. The Brockton's defense has looked pretty good in this one too. Yeah, Jayla Curran Stewart, the captain, senior. As Ailish Olmstead gets that. Yeah, Brockton, yeah, the, the defense just needs their, some more help from the offense as Dartmouth is controlling all of the possession in this one. Mm, a strike. Olmstead mishandles it, and the ball went out. Olm it appears to see that Olmstead cut t touched the ball, and it'll be a corner kick. Dartmouth substitution number seven, Nanika Furtado. Number 10, Savannah Freitas. Number 22, Paige Jacobson. Corner for Dartmouth. Nice save by Olmstead. Nice. Number 19, Catherine Sagan. And Olmstead will. Made a little made a little mistake on that goal kick, and there's Dartmouth. Brockton coming. substitution number two, Jaylena Davis. Dartmouth in the in the in the penalty box, cleared. Yeah, that one's out and going Brockton's way. Brockton needs Brockton needs to respond quick. Madison Moore. Here's Jerry Rodriguez back to Moore. Opportunity coming up for Brockton. She has to she has to control the dribble. She doesn't she doesn't do that. She passed it and intercepted by Dartmouth again. She should have she should have just controlled the dribble as she was a lot of open space in front of her. And waited and waited for another Brockton player. Ooh, wow. A foul against Dartmouth. As Daleen Souza was as Daleen Souza was tagged up. And a nice defensive play by Daleen Souza. The Brockton defense has looked real good in this one. With fifteen minutes to play in the first half. Here's Dartmouth. Gotta gotta challenge the ball. Deanna Desertville with a nice kick right there. Now here's Brockton. Stolen by Dartmouth again. Alicia 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 Talkman got in a little got in a little ball, got the ball there. Madison Moore, Moore, and over the back foul. One one game with fourteen minutes to play in the first half. This free kick by Jada Fernandez. It's a good one. Quickly held by the goalkeeper. Coming in at goalie is, excuse me. Excuse me, Randy Medeiros at goalie. 
as we have a free kick coming up for Dartmouth. And Olmstead will get it before the forward and she corrals the ball. Here's the here's the booming goal kick. A throw in for Brockton. Dartmouth substitution number three, Kylie Wheaton. Brockton substitution number 16, Charlotte Lennon. <laughs> Midfielder Charlotte Lennon checks into the game for Brockton. And also Kylie Wheaton for Dartmouth. Marion, Mia Otero, nice pass in the middle of the field to Madison Moore, and all sides call. Here is Dartmouth on the attacking side. Ooh, a big, a big push, but that one's not called. But nice play by Jada Fernandez. Here's Dartmouth. Oh, nicely intercepted. Now Dion, that was Jayla Corinne Stewart. And here's Dartmouth with another attacking possession. Taken away. Jared Rock, that is Jada Fernandez in the open clear. Back to Mia Otero. Otero is waiting for. Did not have much help, so she had to give the ball away. And that one's cleared out by Dartmouth. Brockton will get it back, though. That kick is no good by Mia Otero. About 10.50 remaining in the first half. Here is Dartmouth. Dartmouth substitution number five, Hannah Wilden. Jared Rodriguez checks out. She'll take a breather.
Brockton substitution number 24, Alicia Talkman. Alicia Talkman checks in. Jaylena Davis checked into the game. Charlotte Linehan. Madison Moore! Stilly stopped. Wow. Randy Medeiros with a nice save for the Dartmouth Indians. Jada Fernandez will kick that one out. Smart play. Yeah, the brat. Guess the Lady Boxers have looked alive now in in the season. Now it's time to get their season on a roll in a one-one tie. In the third game of the season. And that one is no good. Yeah. Yeah, again, Dartmouth. This is Dartmouth's first game of their season. Dartmouth substitution number 18, Aaron Cook. This is Dartmouth's first game of the season, 0 and 0. And Dartmouth on the offensive side of the ball. Cleared away by Brockton. But we have a, but it's actually an, a foul. Corner for Dartmouth. And you got some nice play by Jayla Curran Stewart. Got another corner again. Brockton got a little lucky on that one. That was a nice corner by the Indians. Mia Otero. Lena Marion couldn't make the move by the defender, and that one's going out. Dalen Souza wasn't able to get it. Dartman substitution number six, Ellie Cook. Ellie Cook checks into the game, the fullback for the Indians. Mia Otero. Mia Otero, can she keep the dribble alive? She was stolen. Souza. The Indians, here they come in all sides. Here's Mia Otero. Otero. Otero wasn't able to get it. Mia Otero's been active in this one. And for those of you that don't know, offsides in soccer is pretty much the intended, the intended player to receive the ball 
cannot be ahead of the defense at all. The intended player for the ball cannot be ahead of the defense, and that will be whistled offsides every time in soccer. Just for those, just for my audience that does not know. Here's Otero in the offsets, off, offensive side of the field. Otero, nice, nice set of moves. Otero keeping the dribble alive, but she's stolen. And stolen. Here's Diamond the other way. Lena, Marion, nice steal. Madison Moore with a nice defensive stop. Three minutes remaining in the half. It's been a pretty entertaining ball game here in Marciano Stadium. Jayla Curran starts beat and uh, that one's going the other way. Procton substitution number three, Ania Barrows. Number nine, Jaira Rodriguez. Number 15, Martina Green. Some fresh legs coming up for Brockton. Jaira Rodriguez, Rodriguez. Madison Moore, whistled offsides. Again, offsides is the intended player for the ball cannot be ahead of the defense. Official time will be kept on the field. Two minutes remaining in this one, and here's Brockton. Rodriguez gets the foul. Jayla Corinne Stewart, nice defensive play. Here's Dartmouth again. That one's out of play. Oh, corner kick. Dartmouth substitution number 11, Sabrina Pyrus. Corner kick. And a lot of, collus a lot of coll collisions in the penalty box. That one's taken. Here's Charlotte Lenahan. Moore. Could she control it to Lenahan? That one's out of play. That one was a foul against Brockton. Free kick for Dartmouth. And this one's to the to the penalty box. Ooh. Again, I am Christopher Brazil doing this game solo. A nice ball to, and she cannot take care of it. That one's out of play. Dartmouth, our offensive pressure has been great in this one. Nice dribbling by all the players in this one. That's halftime. Quick reminder, the concession stand is open across the way. And that is your half here at Marciano Stadium in Brockton. A 1-1 draw so far by the Lady Boxes and the Dartmouth Indians. Madison Moore 
scoring and also and answering right back was Anika Barros. No, excuse me, Anika Furtado scoring for for Dartmouth. It's been a one-one draw and a and a pretty good a pretty good start by both teams, an entertaining one. And we will be back right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brockton High, Brockton High Girls Varsity Telecast. 1-1 one, one tie so far in Brockton with the Dartmouth Indians. And here is Dartmouth on the offensive side of the field. Ailish Olmstead will take care of that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, the Dartmouth keeper. Both teams, Randy Madero's actually switched sides. Brockton and Dartmouth switched sides. Now here is Dartmouth to the Brockton side of the field. Ooh, wow. Nice shot on goal for Dartmouth. Yeah, we have Dartmouth in white and Brockton in black. Off sides. Madison Moore ahead of the defense. Number two, Jaylena Davis on the throw in. Another offsides call against Dartmouth. And that was a booming one. Alicia Talkman. That one's no good. Nice play by Jayla Curran Stork, keeping the ball alive. De Deanna Desireville will kick that one out. Nice head by Stort. Again, the Brockton defense has just looked real good in this one. Real good.
Thunder. Alicia Talkman. Jalena Davis. Oh. Uh, Jalena Davis loses control of the ball. Yeah, that sh that shot is no good. Yes. Alicia Talkman. That strike is no good. Jelena Davis control the a bunch of kicking. Yeah, Brockton Brockton just has to control the control the ball on their feet and not kick it. Here's Dartmouth. Ooh. You gotta get that out of there. Current store with the clear out. Mm. Olmstead takes care of it. Again, we got a 1 1 tie with 32 minutes remaining in the game. Dartmouth has control most of the possession, slightly more than the possession of the game. But here, but here comes Brockton, Alicia Talkman on the other side of the field. Talkman. And that's no good. A nice strike blow by Talkman. Left side of the post. Brockton, substitution number 10, Mia Otero. Jalena Davis will take a breather for Mia Otero. Otero. Nice dribble by Dartmouth. That was number 19, Catherine Seguin. And we have a pairs, pairs that be going Brockton's way. Seems like we have an we had an off the ball foul. Going to going Brockton's way. Otero, Madison Moore, Madison Moore, free dribble, got to strike it now, and now it's no good, no good. The defensive pressure kind of got to her a bit. Brockton substitution, number one, Lena Marion. Number 16, Charlotte Linehan.
Because that missed the other way. Yeah, the Brockton High Lady Boxers with 11 seniors on this team. Here's Dartmouth, and Dartmouth will clear that one. And with only one freshman, that freshman is Martine, number 15, Martina Green. Excuse me, Martina Grind, the striker, and, y and winger. Mia Otero. Otero got to pass it to Talkman, and she would rather strike it and easily hits a Dartmouth player. Otero, can she keep the dribble alive? Otero. Nice pass. Out of bounds. An entertaining 1-1 game here in Marciano Stadium. Free kick coming up for Mia Otero. She will let Jayla Corinne Store take it. Out of play. Going Brockton's way. Deanna Desertville with the throw in. A nice crowd here in a chilly afternoon in Brockton. Nice crowd. We have some Dartmouth fans as well. And here is Dartmouth. That one's that one will be taken by Olmsted. She has to get there. Oh, she has to get back to the goal. It's a goal kick for goal kick for Brockton. Dartmouth substitution number four, Kylie DeCasa. Number 12, Logan Piva. Number 15, Kristen Medeiros. Number 17, Jenna Kadok. Let's see if Barkman could take the lead on this possession here. I know a free kick coming in for darkness. That one's no good. Umstead with a nice hold there. She's had a busy, a busy evening here. Madison Moore, can she get there? No. Madison Moore has looked real good in this game, scoring a goal early in the first half.
Here's Dartmouth on the strike. Nice defensive play by Corinne Stewart. She's had many she's been ha she's had many kicks like that this entire game. Many clear outs. The Brockton defense has been looking like anchors today. And that's a foul. I believe that was Jared Rodriguez who was on the ground. Alicia Talkman. Here's Dartmouth in the clear. Kylie Wheaton has that one taken away. Wheaton, nice pass to the left side. Corner kick. Short corner. Nice play by Corinne Stewart. Knees it out. And another corner coming up for the Indians. A call against Dartmouth, and that's going the other way. Kylie Wheaton. Charlotte Linehan kicks that one out. Brockton substitution number two, Jalena Davis. Again, we have a 1 1 tie here with 22 minutes remaining. Goals, goals from Dartmouth's Anika Furtado and Brockton's Madison Moore. Both of those goals coming simultaneously. It's been a pretty good one here in Brockton. Nice cross by Wheaton, and that one's the intercepted by Brockton. And Diamond, no good. Another shot on goal for Dartmouth and another missed opportunity for the Indians. Dartmouth substitution, number 10, Savannah Freitas. Number 7, Anika Furtado. Twenty minutes remaining here in this one. Brockton Brockton defense has looked real good in this one. Another throw in coming up for the Indians. It's a pretty good one. And oh. Wow. That one was corralled by Olmstead. Alish Olmstead has looked good in this one. Oh. 
Has Diamonds in the clear? A strike! That one touches the back of the net. And it was actually deflected by a Brockton defender, so it should be a corner. So it is a, it is a corner. Another corner. Another corner opportunity for the Indians. This one's number seven, Anika Furtado. Another corner coming up for Diamonds. And Diamond with an interesting four corner formation. And this one caught by Olmstead. Nice one. Ailish Olmstead has looked like the player of the game in this one so far. Um, multitude of saves for her. Here's Brockton. Madison Moore was double teamed and and, and cleared away by Dartmouth. Jalena Davis. Jalena Davis. The push will go Brockton's way. Hannah Wielden will take the free kick for Dartmouth. Caught by Olmstead. Another save by Olmstead. Just looks superb in this one. Seventeen minutes remaining. Ooh, a trip. Foul against Brockton. Yeah, the Brockton offense has to look more alive in this fa in this final in the final sixteen minutes of this game. They need their off their defense is doing everything they can. They just need more. They just need more offensive dribbles. And Olmstead is and Olmstead is playing unbelievable. As she beats the Dartmouth defender in. A yellow card against Dartmouth. A rule, the rule in soccer if, if, a, if the opposing player touches the goalkeeper, a card will be given the, depending on the depending on the toughness of the tackle, red or yellow. And that was a yellow card issue to the Dartmouth player. And Olmstead having another great game as we, as we have some stoppage on the field right now. Brockton substitution number 24, Alicia Tachman. Senior Tachman gets back in the game, Alicia Tachman.
Me Otero. Otero. Oh, bad pass by Otero. A nice boot. Alicia Talkman. And Ooh And Diamond scores. Diamond scores. Yeah, that goal was by Anika Furtado, number seven, assisted by Kelly Medeiros. So it's 2 1 now, Dartmouth. Has Di has Brockton the other way and that one's taken away. Dartmouth goal scored by number eight. Kelly Medeiros assisted by number seven, Anika Furtado. Yeah, excuse me, the other way around. The score the the goal was scored by Kelly Medeiros and assisted by Anika Furtado. Number eight scores for Dartmouth, Kelly Medeiros, assisted by Anika Furtado. And Anika Furtado with a goal and an assist in this one. And Brockton's, Brockton's playing on thin ice with the final 12 minutes in this one. Otero. She must keep the dribble alive. The nice pass to Rodriguez. Rodriguez is pushed. Otero with the kick, oh, okay. headed uh, out. Yes, yes. Madison Moore. Madison Moore, nice pass to Alicia Talkman. Could she get there? No, the goalkeeper will get there. That has to be a throw in for Brockton, and she has to. Brockton substitution number three, and Nia Barrows. Desertville with the throw in, uh, a short throw in. A 
foul on the play against the Brockton. Dartmouth up 2-1. Timeout on the field, called by Dartman. We have a timeout remaining. We have a timeout with 10:29 remaining. Yeah, the Brockton. Yeah, the Brockton's defense has just playing, has been playing on the ropes in this one, and and Dartmouth has just been coming up with the attack, and not much. Has Brockton has had their Brockton has had their chances and has had their hopes. But quickly, but quickly taken away by Dartmouth. 10 29 to go. Brock, Brockton's best hope is obviously a draw at this point. Both both teams have have, have played pretty well. And Dartmouth is Dartmouth is pretty close to their first win of the season. Coach Brockton coach Tim Kompritsky trying to enlighten the Lady Boxer team who played who's been playing pretty well in this one. Yeah, here's the free kick coming up for the Indians. A sliding save by Olmstead. And here's Diamond. Stolen by Jared Rodriguez. Nice steal. The Dartmouth Indians have been playing pretty well in this one, keeping the offensive possession to their side. Ailish, Ailish Olmstead, the goalkeeper for Brockton, has been so busy. I bet, I bet. Definitely, obviously, breaking a, a sweat down there. She allowed two goals, and she wants some help for her Brockton offense. And here's Alicia Talkman. She could keep the dribble alive. Talkman doing pretty well. Stops. Stops. Defends herself. But that's a foul. A bit too rough. Oh, the foul is actually going against Dartmouth. Some of the Dartmouth some of the Dartmouth fans were upset about that one. Is Madison Moore on the free kick? Number eight. Mm. That was a nice free kick. Jayla Corinne Stewart and Corinne Stewart. Corinne Stewart distracted the Indian offender, offensive player, and she got her way.
Dartmouth substitution number five, Hannah Wilden. Number 11, Sabrina Pires. Number 22, Paige Jacobson. Madison Moore. Call against Brockton. 740 remaining in this one. Well, you see a talk, man. man. Mia Otero, could she find some daylight? We have more on the other side. More Otero, Otero, keeping the dribble alive. Otero, Talkman, more the header. No, that one's going the other way. The Lady Boxes hasn't had a sh have not had a shot on goal in a while in this one. This one's for Dar. This one's for Dartmouth. Kid Corinne Stewart and Olmstead. Olmstead will take care of it. A lot of outrage on that race between Corinne Stewart and the Dartmouth striker from the Dartmouth fans. Brockton must be on the heels and hurry up. And you got Madison Moore. Yes, Madison. Moore yes. scores. Wow. Go, Madison. Madison Moore scores. Brockton goals scored in the fifth minute of the second half by number eight, Madison Moore, assisted by number 10, Mia Otero. Goal scored by Madison Moore, assisted by Mia Otero. This has been an entertaining one here in Brockton. Just, in, just, just a great one. Five minutes remaining. 5.19 to go. Can Olmstead get there? That one's going out of the way. It's a corner kick coming up for Dartmouth. Official time will be kept on the field. Nice catch by Alice Olmstead. I believe Alice Olmstead thought she was playing football, American football on the field right now. It was her ball and she got it. And and Brockton still and Brockton still has the chance for the victory. And Alicia Talkman on the other side. Alicia Talkman looking for looking for some help. Down the field. More! Oh! What a nice strike by Moore. Quickly. Quickly held by Randy Medeiros. 2-2 game here in Marciano Stadium. A fun one here.
Madison Moore, courtesy the of the first two goals of the Brockton season. Strike. That one's no good for Brockton. Yeah, Madison Moore, the mid the midfielder and striker, also a, and she is a senior. She played she played a lot like this last year too, and and here she is with the ball again. Brockton with another chance. Den mm. Otero, Lena Marion actually Marion, no good. Brockton has been urgent lately. That one is denied by Dartmouth. And here, here's Brockton down inside the field. Madison Moore. Moore! No good. The right side. Madison, Madison Moore just playing great in this one. There's more again. Mia Otero falls. Dartmouth on the other side. That one is onsides. And a foul on the play. As we see Corinne Stort on the ground. Two two game here with little remaining. Both of these teams just played outstanding today. Brockton Brockton has looked alive and late in the second half. A foul again against Dartmouth. Coach Kamprinsky is fired up and, and furious right now. Jared Rodriguez falls. Another foul. Dartmouth, Dartmouth, the game's getting to Dartmouth now. As Brockton has, has been clicking. Madison Moore on the free kick. You see Madison Moore in... Foul. Wow, this one has been chippy. The last four minutes or so. Both of these teams stepped up their aggression. Free kick for Dartmouth. Yes. You have Brockton defenders. Charlotte Linehan will check in for Mia Otero. I believe a card was issued. Brockton substitution number 16, Charlotte Linehan. We have a uh, 
And, ooh, we got Darvis in the clear. Could Olmstead get it? All sides call. Wow. Final score, 2-2. Two, two. A 2-2 two, two draw between Dartmouth and Brockton. It's been, it's been a pretty good one. Madison Moore, two goals. And um, Anika, Furtado, Anika Furtado for Dartmouth scored and assisted. And also Kelly Medeiros with a goal. It was a great one, an entertaining one. The, Brock, the Brockton offense really stepped it up at the end. And, and t things got more aggressive at the end as well. It was an entertaining one here at Rocky Marciano Stadium. Brockton advances to 0-2-1 as Dartmouth gets a tie for their first game of the season. Nothing but love between these two rivals, I guess. But all in all, I'm your, I'm your commentator, Christopher Brazil, on this one, signing you off from, Bro from Rocky Marciano Stadium. For the guys in the truck, Bill Filipides and Mike, so long, everybody. Have a good night.